so this is one of the very easiest problem but has been asked in many uh, companies interviews so i thought let me take the video on that and based upon this concept we can make the many other videos in the problem we are going to solve that so the problem is that you have given one array and they have the four element right that could have the any number of elements and you will also get one target so and you have to give the answer by which two number if you add you will get the target so in this case it is very easy so if you see the 2 and 7 if you add the 2 and 7 so you will get the number 9 right so what if you see here what output you have to give this is the index right for the any array this is the index so of course you will add the 2 and 7 so 2 index is 0 and 7 index is 2 so you have to return the 0 2 if you make in the very simple way basic approach is very easy how we can easy so what you have to do if you take the first number so suppose this is the number right let me repeat it again and target is 9 so if you take the first number to match how we can get the 9 so of course what is the remaining number so you want to achieve the 9 and you got the 2 so actually you are searching the 7 in throw out the remaining area right so this is the basic approach how we can do if you just take the simple approach so we will do for for this array suppose uh, whatever the array names so now you got this number right so which number you got it you got it nums i so here you got it too right and you also find out what is the remaining means remaining is the target minus num right so this is the seven so actually you are looking the seven in the remaining array because you are right now standing here and accept these two if any seven is there the moment you get it the seven your job is finished right so you have to start the another for loop of course that uh, for would you start from after i because you are not considering i because i is the first number so you take j is equal to i plus 1 and then j you go the same num length and j plus plus in any moment if you see that your nums j right equal to equal to remaining remaining number this remaining number in this case of the 7 so you can return new you have to return one array right so what you can return i and the j right so why i and j because i is standing here and 7 you are you are just now you got it right so this is the easiest way to to solve this problem right this is a very easy way but if you see here your complexity is going to the n square right because here this is one for loop and here this is another for loop so let me discuss what is the better approach than this so what if we do that you might be knowing the uh, map right hash map so what is the hash map actually hash map has the two columns one is called the key and under is called the value you can uh, and the key is always the unique key right so map is the key and value right and this key is the unique so what we will start that so we start from the two so first you check is this two is there or not if it is not there put the two here value and as as a key and put the value of the index the index of two is equal to zero right and of course when you be in the first position so this is your first position you num is values to i is the index and what is the what is the remaining uh, what is the remaining number you are looking so you are looking for the remaining seven right so what if you do we will check this number this remaining number if it is present in the hash map or not if it is not present i will insert the num so let me go through the drive run. so first we come on the two and the, this is number 2, remaining is 2. So this remaining is present in this index, no. In this map, no. I will put the 2, this number. Go to the second, now we have the array 1. So when now this number is the array 1. And of course, the remaining is the negative number, forget about that. So again, this remaining is not here. 
so you come and put this eleven with the index one. Now come to the seven. The moment you come the seven, this is the seven and this is the two. You check whether this remaining is there or not. Yes, this remaining is there. Two, two is here. So what is the index of two? Zero. You got the zero. And what is your right? I I right now it is on the zero one two. So you have the seven index two, and you will also get the index zero. So you can return the two and zero. So this is the easiest way. Let me do the code here. So no need to uh, change anything. Just you change this for you because you are going to avoid the for you for better complexity. So first and foremost, once you get these two values, right? You check whether this if map contains key is the remaining. If that remaining is here. If it is here, then what you have to do? You have to return because right now index is i, and another index you got from the map. How you will get this map index? So map dot get remaining. If you are not getting this, the simple put this map dot put i value. What is the i value? Num. And index i. So this is the easy way we can do that, right? So let me again, uh, in short, let me again expand that. So from this, you have to find out the two number and addition of the two number. You should get it the target. So once you are in the first number, so what you have to do? You have to find out what is the remaining number, right? So if you are in the two index zero, so you are searching the seven, right? So what you do? First search that seven is present in this map or not? If it is not present. Put the current number here with the index, and again, again move forward to the next i. So in this way, what happen? Of course, because the number you have given in such a way, you must be getting one solution. So somehow you will encounter that value in the map, and you will make it uh, find out and return this way. So this is the very efficient way to find out this to sum. Thank you. So take one for you and. We move throughout the arrays and take the number. What is the current number? So current number is the nums i. So and what is the remaining number? Remaining number would be the target plus current number, right? So this is our number. So take another for loop. I am taking the first approach and I will move to the hash map approach. So take another for loop g. And J start from the i plus one, as we discussed that. And J, of course, will be on the nums length, right? So nums length. And check that if nums J equal to equal to remaining number, so you find out the number remaining number, then simple return. One array that we have the both index right, and both index is the i and the j, and we must get one in uh, as per the uh, questions we must get one solution. So we must sometimes we must be the get the answer from second for and to just fulfill the conditions. If we have to just return something, so to my Empty array, so my method will be okay. So now this is the code overall, and let me just go and uh, paste the code. It is working or not? So it is working fine, right? It is two seven eleven fifteen. It is a nine. You can get the zero, right? So even though if you want to change this, the, if you want to put the seven here, you can just put the seven, and this time you got the answer zero. Zero one, but in this case you will get the zero two, right? Let me run this. So zero two, you got it. Now what we will do? We will move into the other uh, better approach using hash map. So we have to just change this part, right? So what we have to do here? We just take one map. Of course, both parties are the integer part. 
and take the name map on it yeah, take the hash map right and now if we are finding out the remaining right so first check if this map contains key the remaining is present or not if it is present if the contents if this is present then means we already got the remaining that another number is there already right so what you have to do they have to just return new int and the indexes indexes one is the i and second is the what we get the index we have to get the index from the map right so map dot get remaining right and if it is not getting get so you have to add this remaining not remaining the num and their indexes right so if you get the answer it's okay then no need to come to the, add the map otherwise you have every element you have to add into the map now let me check this approach working or not right so let me check this this is better approach and fast approach <coughs> Integer is doing mistake. Not add math have the method the put method right. So you have to put and this is working fine right. So you can submit the code. If you have any questions, use the comment box. I will try to give the answer. This is submitted. Thank you very much.